John Colo discountjuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you, and today I'm going to share with you guys my favorite commercial certified juicer that you can use in a juice bar or even your home. You know, several months ago, Tribest came out with this guy right here. This is the Tribest Green Star Pro uh, GS-P502. And uh, when it came out originally, it had a commercial electric certification. It had basically uh, improve uh, you know motor cooling improve wiring and now they have the ETL sanitation which means this is the equivalent of NSF which means if you have a you know a restaurant cafe or juice bar um, this is basically health code approved for use in your commercial juice bar some commercial juicers although they're called commercial may not have this certification and this certification may be very important uh, depending on your location and where you live. Um, anyways, uh, if you want to learn more about this guy and the full unboxing and information, check the link down below. I'll put a link down below to the video I did on this guy, like more in depth and in detail. And uh, you know, I'm going to talk about why I believe this is the best, and you're going to want to stay tuned for that because, you know, it, like a pair of shoes. If I said, "Hey, what's the best pair of shoes?" Right, and, it, it, and your answer would be, it depends on what you're doing in those shoes. Are you running a marathon? <laughs> or are you going to a wedding? You're going to wear two different types of shoes depending on which. So the best juicer for you is truly the best juicer that will best meet your needs, best juice the things you want to juice, juice them the best, the most efficiently, make the highest yield and the highest nutrient quality. So on many of those marks, uh, the green star juicers will meet those for sure. Now the other machines I have on the table here are the Green Star Elite. This is the original Green Star Elite. Now this is a tried and true design. This machine actually came out nine years ago uh, at the time this video is made. If you see it in the future then it might be even longer. But this machine came out nine years ago and basically they haven't really made any changes because it was basically bulletproof from the day it hit the market. And from the day it hit the market you know, it is renowned for getting some of the highest yield and making some of the most nutritious juice out there. And uh, originally this machine came in white. That's the GSE 5000. Later they did release it in a black color and also a chrome plated uh, plastic color just basically on the outside. But if you open it up, all the other parts on the inside on the different colored models are the same except for uh, the the outlet adjusting knob which depending on the model juice you're getting will be a different color and then uh, just now for the first time ever I'm showing this online <laughs> is their brand new machine and this is actually the uh, Trivest Green Star Pro GS-P501 <laughs> and basically it's the Green Star Pro in a white color and that's basically the difference between this guy and this guy but there is also one very important difference in addition uh, they Tribest has paid for the certification and has the ETL sanitation mark, um, which is NSF equivalent on the gray model, and uh, you know, and then because they came out with a new model number, they don't have the same ETL sanitation certification. <laughs> so if you're using this in a business, you should get this one at this point in time until Tribest, if and I don't know when uh, they will get it on this because it is actually an expensive process. But basically, if you're a home user, you don't need any kind of certifications to use a machine in your kitchen because the health department's not knocking on your door and making sure that your machines are, are proper. You know? <laughs> so, uh, so in that case, you could use either of these two machines and get the color that you like. Of course, in like a restaurant, juice bar, commercial environment, you're going to want to have this darker color because it's going to basically show the stains less. And I kind of like the industrial or more commercial look of this guy. Uh, you know, than the uh, white model here. That being said, between these two models, which one do you like better? I mean, basically, they're both white. This one has a, a gray and black sticker. This one has a black and green sticker. This one actually has a, a black ring around it. This one actually has like a chrome ring around it. And actually, I think this guy looks a lot sharper. In addition, the other main difference, if we look at the back here, on the back of this guy, it's basically just a black uh, panel on the back. And on this guy, it's basically a, it's it's a reset. It's a, basically it comes out a little bit, and there's a tamper holder here, so you always have your tamper ready to use to push the produce through the machine. I mean, 
Other than that, I'm not going to really get into the di differences between the uh, standard uh, Elite model and the Pro in this episode, because that's not the purpose of this episode. But what I will do is I'll put a link down below uh, to the video where I compared the Elite to the Pro. And to sum it up, basically it's about a, a $250 difference at, at present time. Pricing may change. Um, and basically there's about 10 different things that I determined are different with the Pro than the standard model. And probably the main thing for me is actually the 100% uh, stainless steel twin gears uh, that I'll probably be showing you guys in a little bit. But uh, I would definitely encourage you guys to upgrade to the Pro. And the other thing that's very important for me is a warranty. You get a three-year additional warranty on the Pro machine if it is for home use uh, than the standard Elite machine. So this is basically, you know, when you go to buy a big appliance, they're always trying to sell you an extended warranty. Oh, yeah, buy an extended warranty and all this crap. Just pay more, get a better machine with a, with a improved uh, functionality, with the improved kind of parts inside, better cooling, improved wiring, and it's also a commercial to boot uh, uh, with the stainless steel gears and also a three year longer warranty for a total of 15 year warranty, whereas this guy, still rare, very long, has a 12 year warranty. And uh, I think next what I want to get into is why do I consider you know, the twin gear juicers here, the Green Star, whether it's the Elite or the Pro now, which is my favorite, um, the best juicers for home use. Now, of course, as I said before, it depends on what is your definition of the best. If your definition of the best is, John, I want the highest yield, highest juice quality possible, then this is the machine for you, right? Why do I say this, right? I don't just make things up out of thin air. I always try to prove everything that I say um, you know, based on my experience when juicing and also uh, from data that I've seen in the past. So over here, what we have here is actually, I think we'll go over to this one first. Uh, this is a little chart here, and this is a testing when they basically tested uh, the twin gear technology and the mineral content. So they basically, they juice the same amount of, I believe, uh, celery, kale, parsley, chard, sunflower sprouts in actually the uh, uh, C or masticating juicer which I would believe would be a champion but they don't really say and then also they, they juice it in a C plus P and that says a masticating juicer as a grinder and a press so that I would believe would be like a champion in like a Wells press or something like that and then um, N is actually a two-step hydraulic press juicer and N I would believe would be something like the Norwalk juicer <laughs> and then also the uh, the twin gear juicer here and they juice the same exact combination in all the machines and then basically they came out with the they tested the minerals uh, that basically came out of each machine and if you look here I would say like in general but not always the uh, twin gear pulled out more minerals um, you know in depending on the mineral in general so for example we're just gonna look at the uh, overall uh, volume here so the volume in, it, in a champion was 600, uh, the volume in the ch champion plus press was 780, in the Norwalk it was 790, and in the green power gold it was 800 um, uh, total. And so I think that's in, I don't know, uh, CCs or whatever they're, me the, the, whatever they're measuring it in. And uh, basically, in general, the minerals that pulled out were higher in the Green Star than the other methods. Not in all cases, but in most of them. And of course, the Champion made the lowest uh, mineral uh, quality. I think after maybe the that, maybe the Norwalk actually had the second most. But let's take a look at the when it pulls out sodium out of the vegetables that you're juicing. Sodium on the Champion was a 658. Okay, and then on the Champion Plus Press, it's basically going to be the Champion Plus uh, more. So it's 759.6. On the Norwalk, it's 838 and on the green uh, you know power twin gear it's a 948 so that's like literally 300 more in MCG slash ML uh, you know and that's per that's like that's like a small quantity but that's like 300 more it, when you're using one of these machines and even a hundred more when using a Norwalk now of course depending on the mineral it varies. Sometimes a Norwalk was better. Sometimes was this was better. But oh, here's another one that's interesting: iron. So if you're like iron deficient, I don't recommend you guys eat any kind of meat products. I recommend you guys actually juice your vegetables for the best 
uh, absorbable iron on the entire planet, and that's actually where the meat gets it. So let's look at the iron here. On the iron, the champion pulled out 3.21. Uh, the champion plus a press, for some reason, pulled out 2.7. The Norwalk pulled out 2.5, and the green, uh, you know, power twin gear pulled out 6.58. So that's like over twice the amount of minerals. And you know, uh, and when you juice, right, the yield is one factor that everybody could like. You could see, I could see the yield. And in this test, when they juice celery, kale, parsley, chard, sunflower sprouts, uh, and it was about, um, I think. Uh, 2 pounds, 2.2, 2.3 pounds or something like that. Um, this machine made more yield, but also not just covering the yield because the juicer could make a high yield doesn't mean the juice juicer is pulling out all the nutrients that it possibly can. And as, as important as the minerals are, um, you know, another thing that's very important to me are the phytonutrients and the phytochemicals. And in my opinion, um, you know, this method will produce higher phytochemical nutrient rich juice compared to the other methods in this test and I don't have any really data on this at this point, but what I do have are my taste buds, and when I look at the juices, you know, the juices notably look different um, when I have used this machine versus the other methods. Now, one of the reasons why the Green Star um, Elite and Pro machines uh, pull out the most nutrients, in my opinion, are the unique method in which it works. So this is actually a gear from the uh, Green Star Elite on the Green Star Pro either of these models, this, this uh, part will be 100% stainless steel, which is an amazement. Um, I have noticed over time, sometimes the plastic on here will crack after many, 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 many years of use. And also if you are kind of like, uh, have butter fingers and you drop this, this plastic can break. In which case, if you drop it, um, that is not covered under warranty because that's, that's due to your fault. <laughs> but on the stainless steel machine, um, you know, if you br if, if you drop this, it's probably going to hit your foot, it's probably going to hurt, and it's probably going to ding your wooden floor, but it's not going to break, all right? So yeah, another reason to get the Elite model. But anyways, here's a cutaway shot. I don't know if you guys could see that, but basically um, inside the gear here, and no other machine has this technology built in because this is patented um, by uh, the company that makes the green uh, star Elite models. They basically have far infrared and magnetic uh, technology that is said to pull out more minerals um, and basically structure the juice as it comes out. So not only is it pulling out more minerals, which of course on this uh, testing they've done, it shows it. Um, also, their juice actually is stable for a longer period of time. So they did another uh, testing here. And uh, this testing is basically the uh, 24, uh, I'm sorry, 72 hour fresh juice stability study and they basically um, uh, used uh, different kinds of juicers including uh, the twin gear juicer, a two-step process uh, probably meaning like a, 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 a grinding and press and then a masticating and then basically over uh, basically 72 hours they measured different um, things such as the uh, temperature, pH and carbohydrate index and on the last page basically they go over uh, the results here. So, I mean, basically to sum up the results, um, after the time had elapsed, and after over the time, and they have graphs to show this, uh, the Green Star Elite Juice was more stable. Now, why is this? Is this because of the fact that it actually has a magnetic and far infrared that may be helping the juice stay more stable? Was this because there's more antioxidants in the juice to prevent the oxidative damage that occurs over time? Was this because some of the minerals are higher in the juice? Or was it because this uh, method of juicing, unlike the, the Champion or the Norwalk or the two-step process they were using, uses a low speed? All these machines share in common the same, basically, uh, motor RPM, which is 110 RPM. So that runs at a much lower speed than a Champion that runs thousands of RPMs or even the grinding section on a Norwalk um, that runs thousands of RPMs. So I mean, I think all these are factors to make this literally one of the best juicers on the planet. Now, every juicer has its pros and cons, right? And this juicer, if you said, John, I want to juice nothing but carrots and apples, because I'm on the Gerson therapy, right? The Gerson therapy, if I was on the Gerson therapy, this is the machine I would get. I wouldn't actually get a Norwalk, which is, or a two-stage, uh, actually better than the Norwalk is the pure uh, juicer that I have videos on. Um, I would actually get this machine because in my opinion, based on the data I've seen and based on tasting the juice, this machine makes a higher quality uh, juice. 
Also, this machine is also less expensive as well. So this juicer will basically juice the carrots and apples that are on the Gerson therapy really well because you're basically going to put in an apple, you're going to put in a carrot, you're going to put in an apple, you're going to put in a carrot. Every different style of juicer will juice certain produce items either better or worse, right? On carrots, this is one of the best. On leafy greens, this does amazing. Now the caveat there is if you're juicing like straight leafy greens, I might get a different style machine such as a Solo Star 4, which is a single auger style, um, which tends to basically not create as much foam when juicing leafy greens. So for that reason, if you do have a, if you're trying to juice the leafy greens in a Green Star Elite or Pro, I would encourage you guys to juice the leafy greens with something else. So by simply putting in some leafy greens followed by a carrot, leafy greens, carrot, it's going to juice the leafy greens great. If you want to use wheatgrass, put in some wheatgrass, put in a carrot, put in some wheatgrass, put in a carrot, you know, that's going to work great as well. And if you don't want to use carrot, use some jicama, which is actually a low GI but high, um, actually, uh, prebiotic food, has the inulin in there. And if you don't want to use other kind of root vegetables, whether that's uh, turnips, uh, daikon radishes, uh, beets, to basically rotate uh, the greens, you want to put something like the celery. Celery is also something amazing that actually I'll be juicing in a little bit that this machine will really tear up on. I know a lot of people are into the medical medium. Medical medium says to juice celery for whatever reason. And this is the machine that's going to get the driest pulp on celery and actually extract the most minerals, which celery is known to be rich in, um, out of, you know, and put that into your juice as per some of the testing that I've shown you guys today. Also, the juice is going to be most stable if you want to store your juice. Now, if you want to store your juice, right, uh, that's why I recommend this machine for the number one juicer that will you'll be able to store your juice because they have done the testing that this shows after three days of probably just storing in the fridge, you know, it's going to keep the most amount of nutrients. Now, that being said, if you're really into this for your health, you want to make your juice, drink it right then and there after you make it for the highest health benefit. And although, you know, you could store it and there's minimal degradation, there is degradation in the juices. Um, that being said, check a link down below for, for a video I recently made actually using this very machine right here and I'll show you guys actually how you guys could best store your juice and one of those tips is actually buy the machine that makes the highest quality juice in the first place. All right. Um, so uh, the other thing I want to mention, if you said, John, I want to juice nothing but fruits, man. I got an apple orchard. I want to get this machine because it's going to do apples, right? Well, no. If you try to do straight apples in here, it's going to clog, clog and back up because this machine, the twin gears, really need some hard fibrous material to grab onto and push through the machine. So that's why I recommend juicing apples with the carrots, right? And basically, if you juice anything with the carrots and some celery, this machine is going to tear it up. It's going to make a, the driest pulp um, of all the different slow juicers I've tested and have a high quality juice. And let me show you guys actually why this works actually. The way this machine works actually, it has um, the gear. So when you put the produce in, basically two gears are running around. It literally just crushes and squeezes and grinds up the produce as a first step. It basically has these uh, pocket recesses on the gears that help to literally grind up everything and then it has uh, this part these cutting teeth here on the gear which basically if you have celery strings some slow juicers you put whole celery in there it's going to clog the juicer up that's never going to happen to you on the green star elite or the pro due to these cutting teeth because these cutting teeth literally shred up the celery uh strings i mean if you put celery into a champion man that that champion is going to get wrapped around with the celery strings it's going to heat it up really fast and it's not going to really work well once again, they've thought of that on the Green Star Elite and now the Pro, and that won't happen. So once all the produce gets ground up, it's basically like a mush. It's like wet, ground up pulp with the juice that's been extracted. It's the juice of the fiber that feeds you that Jay Cordich, formerly known as a juice man, taught me. Anyways, as, the, as it moves down this gear, there, it next goes into stage uh, uh, two and three. Stage one is a grinding. Stage two is the mixing stage, and then stage three is the pressing stage. And uh, then it's just mixed and pressed and squeezed out, and then the juice comes out the bottom of the machine, and the pulp comes out the front of the machine. And that's what makes this machine uh, truly superior. And also you have this outlet adjusting knob that, you know, if you're juicing vegetables, you always want to screw it into the maximum tension to keep the pulp, the wet pulp in, and only when that pulp gets dry will it be ejected out and pushed out of the machine. So yeah, I mean, basically you've got to fit there. Oh, and then, oh, yeah, no, I gotta always tell you guys, like as much as there's good things about this juicer, there's some things that maybe aren't so good as well. And you know, I mean, I'll just tell like it is. The manufacturer on the box of this machine says it's 
easy to clean. So what is the definition of easy to clean? Well, yeah, of course, this machine takes me less than maybe six minutes to clean. Is that easy to clean? But of course, the juicer I use on a regular basis takes me three minutes to clean, and there are juicers on the market that take as short as nine, take me anyways, 90 seconds to clean. Uh, this machine does have a few more uh, parts than other juicers, but it's not that difficult to clean. Basically, you take this part off, you rinse it out, and then uh, you, uh, you click these off here, and this whole assembly comes apart. You have this uh, front housing assembly, then you have the uh, outlet adjusting knob once again. This actually has a spring tension, and this is one of the secrets of the Green Star uh, Elite and Pro. Basically, the spring tension, basically when you push against it, it's hard to push. So this makes sure that the pulp is super dry before it lets it out. Then you've got to clean uh, your juicing screen here, which, you know, the juicing screen on any juicer can be the hardest part to clean. Tribex has now made it better, and actually on any of the new machines you buy, the Green Star Pro or even their Elite model, it comes with this new cleaning tool. And uh, this was not included on previous machines. If you have a previous machine, you could call Tribex, order this separately. But with the new machines, should you order from Discount Juices, we have the latest stock. We'll send you a machine with this cleaning tool. If you order from another retailer, they may not include this cleaning tool if they have old stock. Anyways, this cleaning tool basically goes on the side of the screen, and you can basically scrub this screen with this uh, cleaning tool. And I would basically uh, rub this on all sides, all four sides of the screen to get the screen clean. And then you want to stick this tool on the inside and basically uh, scrape it down. Because basically what happens when you juice is some of the, the pulp will get clogged inside and stuck inside the screen, and you're going to need this tool to help dislodge it uh, more quickly. Uh, next here, you have the two stainless steel gears. So these gears are really nice. Let's go ahead and compare uh, the, the stainless steel gears to the uh, non-stainless steel gears. So this this guy is actually on the Elite, and this guy is on the Pro. Uh, it's a much nicer piece, in my opinion. It's also uh, heavier. And then uh, finally, you just have the main feed chute and uh, body right here. Of the juicer and I mean basically I just take a dish brush they give you uh, two different cleaning brushes with the all the different Green Star models I use actually a 50 cent brush from Ikea that's a little bit larger so it has a lot more uh, bristles that makes it easier and faster for me to clean now one of the things you're gonna get actually on the pro model that you're not gonna get on the elite model is uh, this part right here and this is basically uh, I think a, 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 a cap here to protect uh, the 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 bushing uh, right here on the machine. So how this thing works is basically um, it's basically like a little washer, and on one side of the washer it kind of has a, a lip on it, and then the other side is flat. So the side of the lip actually goes in, and basically it basically goes on this little um, protrusion right here. This is only included with the Pro model, so you're not going to get this with the Elite. I guess if you want to get it for the Elite, you could order it separately. But basically, Tribex has determined that, you know, because this is a commercial model, it's going to get a lot more use than a household model. Um, they have seen that over time, uh, the little seal here may wear out. So this basically uh, little piece covers that seal so that there's less wear on it over a long period of time. Uh, that being said, this seal can last for many years without this part. But if you do get it, you should put it on and you should be using it. It does uh, make another uh, part that you have to clean at the end. You have to actually remove this after you're done and clean all in here because that's one of the things actually I don't like about this design is that you know when you're done all in here in this area there's going to just be pulp uh, you know on here so you're going to have to actually just wash this off. The easy way to wash this off is just get a little a spray bottle with a little bit of just soap and water and then spray it down and take a little brush and brush it down. This, this part the motor body should never be put under the sink or into the sink uh, to clean so you know that's one of the parts you'll have to clean it's not really that big of a problem oh and I want to go ahead and show you guys actually the assembly of this machine here real quick very important you assemble it properly uh, first step is you're going to want to take the two twin gears and on the gears I don't know if you guys can see that but there's basically two dots on this gear there's one dot on this gear and you're going to want to put the dots together to make sure they're in the right um, you know setup so basically you make a little uh, triangle out of the dots if you just put the gears together haphazardly, um, the gears are not lined up properly, and then when they're rolling together, uh, they may cause some damage to the gears, so you always want to make sure that the gears are lined up properly. Uh, once you have them uh, lined up, uh, the first step, uh, the next step is you're going to want to put this uh, housing on, and then you're going to want to uh, basically uh, put the gears into the housing here, 
and sometimes you might have to twist these gears a little bit until they basically go back and seat inside. Uh, then of course you're going to want to make sure that your juicing screen is on properly. And now uh, with the uh, Tribes uh, Green Star Pro and Elite models, you know, they don't like say, um, we got like different sized screens and you could buy them later. They give them to you. So they actually, they have a fine screen that's included with the machines. They have a coarse screen included with the machines. They have a solid blank plate included with the machines that you could use to grind up things like sprouted wheat berries, you know, uh, grind up cabbage. You can make your own nut butters and even frozen fruit sorbets. They also have a, a breadstick outlet knob. They also have an open blank that can be useful to process many different foods. And um, then after that, you have a um, outlet cap or, uh, you know, outlet housing you're going to put on there. And then basically you're just going to take these guys and you're going to snap that down. And then uh, finally you're going to take your outlet adjusting knob and uh, let's see, that just screws in really simply and easily. And then uh, finally, you're gonna go ahead and take your top and put it on. And you, the whole machine is assembled. Super simple, super easy. We're gonna come back at you and I'm gonna juice some celery in this machine. So now what I'll be doing for you guys, actually I'm gonna juice 1,000 grams, and for those of us that are in the US, that's 2.2 pounds of straight celery. This would totally massacre some slow juicers, especially the vertical ones, and also something like the Champion Juicer, where the celery strings will literally get stuck up in the machine. It's not even going to phase the Green Star Pro, and the cool thing about the celery feeding the Green Star Pro, it basically goes in so easy. Anyways, I know a lot of you guys are wanting to juice celery because of the medical medium, and as good as celery I is, I believe it is, there are so many other different fruits and vegetables, and especially the leafy green vegetables, that in my opinion are more important than the celery, like the cruciferous leafy green vegetables. So I don't ever want you to just to juice only celery, um, despite what anybody says, um, but to try to include a variety of foods and always rotate the different juices you get because as much as celery has some good certain nutrients, there's other foods that you may be missing. And also, I do want to remind you really fast that every food also has small levels of anti-nutrients. So if you juice the same recipe each and every day, you're always going to get a, all those good nutrients in there, but also you're going to get some of those um, you know, anti-nutrients in there as well. And by rotating what you're juicing every day, um, you know, you're going to go ahead and, and basically get a spectrum of things, which I believe is personally better. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. One of the things I like about this machine is it runs at 110 RPMs. And it's quiet, you know, it's unlike a high speed machine that sounds like an airplane taking off in your kitchen. You could juice actually when your family members are asleep. Oh, and what I'm going to do before I start is we're going to time this so you can see how long it takes to juice 2.2 uh, pounds. And look at that, man, I can push it in my finger. I mean, this is like slicing butter with a hot knife. I mean, look at this. I could push this in with literally my pinky. Barely any effort pushing the celery in the machine, totally amazing. Now this does not happen with carrots. Carrots are a little bit harder to push in, but the celery literally goes in really easy. You want to make sure your outlet adjusting knob is uh, fully tight on there. Now if I was juicing other items, you would want to rotate the items you're putting in. So you put a little bit of celery, a little bit of leafy greens, a little bit of apple, a little bit of uh, leafy greens, a little bit of celery. Always rotate. Be sure to check a link down below where I talk about the common questions with the Green Star Elite or Pro Series of machines and actually how to use it. I think I'm going to stop yabbing at you and I'm going to focus on the juicing to actually get a good uh, time estimate of how long it takes to juice this much celery. We're going to go ahead and uh, speed this up and play some music for you, so uh, just relax. Alright, so it looks like I'm down to my last bit of celery running through the machine. Most important thing, once you put that last produce item in, uh, run it through and then uh, leave the machine on, let it run a little bit because if you just turn it right off, it's not done juicing, you can still see some drips coming out. And uh, here's a secret, um, after every last produce item you put in through this machine, I want you to guys to grab a handful of the pulp and actually run it back through because what happens is if you stop this machine now, some of the uh, celery that you just put in didn't move all the way down the gear into the auger to get fully extracted. Now by putting some of the extra dry pulp through there, you can basically rejuice your pulp and this depends on, of course, what you're juicing. Soft fruit pulp is not going to reduce. Uh, carrot pulp is going to reduce very well. Celery pulp is going to do all right. But as you'll see in a minute, there's not really use doing that. To get the final drifts, and we could go ahead and turn this off. So it looks like it took 3 minutes and 44 seconds on the clock here. 
Although, you know, I did add some extra stuff at the end. Let's go ahead and turn that off here. And uh, so this was, uh, once again, uh, 1,000 grams of celery. And look at what the celery was turned into there. I mean, this is just basically a bowl of celery pulp. And now I'm going to squeeze this. And we can still squeeze a little bit of juice out of it, right? Um, but it did an amazing job. And we could just take this celery and just put it through again and we'll get the pulp even drier. I'm not going to go ahead and waste my time with that today. And then if we take a look on the uh, collection cup here, looks like to me this is not an official like um, comparison, but we made 800 milliliters of a straight up celery juice. Now, I want to encourage you guys always to drink your juices right after you make them for the highest health benefit. The celery juice you know, starts to oxidize the minute you, it comes out of the machine, even if you make it with the best machine that's going to do the least amount of oxidative damage. Uh, one way to prevent this is, of course, add some citrus in there, so like, like some lemon. And you can use lemons with the skin and all in the Green Star Pro. And we're going to pour us a glass. Look at that. Nice, clean juice. I don't think there's any extra fiber in here. Uh, the Green Star Pro and Elite model does come with an additional stainless steel strainer that you can use if you want a pulp-free juice. I encourage you guys actually to drink some pulp with your juice if you don't mind the texture in your mouth. You know, I think there may be additional nutrients coming in with the pulp and that may help, uh, you know, give you a bit more fiber. That being said, even when you're juicing, right, you're keeping some of the fiber. So I want you guys to remember, even when you're juicing and you're removing some of the fiber, you're keeping some of the fiber also. There's two main types of fiber. There's actually also many others. But there's two main types of fiber that's called Sible fiber and insible fiber. So as much as the juicer removes the insible fiber, it's keeping all the sible fiber because that's the kind of fiber that's actually in with the juice. Now, the amount of sible fiber versus insible fiber depends on the vegetable carrots are approximately 50-50. Uh, uh, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and taste this juice to see what straight celery juice tastes like out of the Green Star Pro juicer. Mm. Not bad. I mean... It has that strong bite of celery. I mean, it's not bad. I know some of you guys might drink it and you might think it tastes like cat pee or something like that. I think it, I think it tastes all right. You know, I would rather maybe sweeten this up with some apples or some pineapple would really make it uh, taste a lot better. Normally, I would actually do uh, celery and cucumber. The cucumber really helps to mellow out uh, the strong uh, bite of the celery juice. But nonetheless, Green Star Pro, definitely the best juicer in my opinion. If you want to juice lots of celery, it juiced with no issues whatsoever. It took about three and a half minutes and it did an amazing job at that. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, I'd encourage you guys to support me in my work by making your purchase at discountjuicers.com. This allows me to continue to make these educational videos to share with you guys all aspects about the different juicers that you will not get anywhere else. Um, so I want to thank you guys in advance that will uh, purchase from me and thank you guys who have purchased from me in the past. Also, I want to remind you guys at discountjuicers.com we do have a price match policy. So if you've gained something from my videos, if I've helped you out, you want to help me out so I can continue to make my videos, uh, these videos and many other videos on YouTube, please purchase from me. And let you, you know, send me a message, let me know. John, I could, I, I'll get a I could price match from this authorized dealer and I'll be glad to match their price so that you don't think I could save five or ten bucks by going here and I'm not going to support John even though he's helped me out so much. I want you to support me even if, you know, we're, we're price matching, right? I want you guys to get the best deal you guys can but also I want to provide you the information and tools you need so that you guys can become lifelong juicers as I am because it has helped my life and has changed so many people's lives that I've sold and hooked up with juicers in the past. Uh, be sure to check the links down below if you want to purchase the Tribest Green Star Pro in this gray or the now brand new white model that's really cool. Um, I mean, they're both great. I like the gray one because it's not going to show the stains as much. But the white one, maybe it's going to match your kitchen better. Um, so yeah, check the links down below. Also, be sure to like this video. If you like this video, uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up. I'll do more videos like this in the future featuring the Green Star Pro Juicer. Also, be sure to check some of the links down below where I compare the Green Star Pro Juicer to other juicers on the market. You know, if the Green Star Pro Juicer isn't the one for you, I'm confident that I have the juicer that is right for you. So, for that reason, check my past episodes. My past episodes are a wealth of knowledge over 500 episodes at this time, teaching you guys all the different 
uh, kinds of juicers on the market, comparing them, contrasting them, as well as other appliances that allow you to get more fresh fruits and vegetables in your diet, such as vacuum blenders and even dehydrators. Also, be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on any of my new and upcoming episodes that I'm coming out about every five to seven days. You never know where I'll show up or what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel. So uh, with that, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for YouTube visitors. John Colo discountjuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you, and today I'm going to show you guys my favorite commercial certified juicer that you can use in a juice bar or even your home. You know, several months ago, Tribest came out with this guy right here. This is the Tribest Green Star Pro uh, GS P 502, and uh, when it came out originally, it had a commercial electric certification. It had basically uh, improve uh, you know motor cooling improve wiring and now they have the ETL sanitation which means this is the equivalent of NSF which means if you have a you know a restaurant cafe or juice bar um, this is basically health code approved for use in your commercial juice bar some commercial juicers although they're called commercial may not have this certification and this certification may be very important uh, depending on your location and where you live. Um, anyways, uh, if you want to learn more about this guy and the full unboxing and information, check the link down below. I'll put a link down below to the video I did on this guy, like more in depth and in detail. And uh, you know, I'm going to talk about why I believe this is the best, and you're going to want to stay tuned for that because, you know, it, like a pair of shoes. If I said, "Hey, what's the best pair of shoes?" Right, and, it, it, and your answer would be, it depends on what you're doing in those shoes. Are you running a marathon? <laughs> or are you going to a wedding? You're going to wear two different types of shoes depending on which. So the best juicer for you is truly the best juicer that will best meet your needs, best juice the things you want to juice, juice them the best, the most efficiently, make the highest yield and the highest nutrient quality. So on many of those marks, uh, the green star juicers will meet those for sure. Now the other machines I have on the table here are the Green Star Elite. This is the original Green Star Elite. Now this is a tried and true design. This machine actually came out nine years ago uh, at the time this video is made. If you see it in the future then it might be even longer. But this machine came out nine years ago and basically they haven't really made any changes because it was basically bulletproof from the day it hit the market. And from the day it hit the market you know, it is renowned for getting some of the highest yield and making some of the most nutritious juice out there. And uh, originally this machine came in white. That's the GSE 5000. Later they did release it in a black color and also a chrome plated uh, plastic color just basically on the outside. But if you open it up, all the other parts on the inside on the different colored models are the same except for uh, the the outlet adjusting knob which depending on the model juice you're getting will be a different color and then uh, just now for the first time ever I'm showing this online <laughs> is their brand new machine and this is actually the uh, Tribest Green Star Pro GS-P501 <laughs> and basically it's the Green Star Pro in a white color and that's basically the difference between this guy and this guy but there is also one very important difference in addition uh, they Tribest has paid for the certification and has the ETL sanitation mark, um, which is NSF equivalent, on the gray model. 